Hey baddies, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a quick little video of me adding my savings challenge money back to my binders and moving a little bit of money around. Um, so if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. <laughs> baddie so i have partnered with flus once again remember this is the app that you use to get cash back in store they are wanting to partner with me to give away a hundred dollar gift card to one of my subbies all you have to do to win this gift card is download the app with my code there in the bottom left hand corner hey baddie once you do that it'll shoot your information over to me and i will pick a winner on christmas day so y'all i know that's not too far from now so make sure that you go ahead and get in there and get um your app downloaded y'all check it out it's a really cool way to get cash back you just buy gift cards use those gift cards in store and then you get the cash back y'all so check out flus okay y'all so the two envelopes i have <clears throat> from my saving challenges are the emergency challenge and the Christmas challenge. So I'm going to add these two to their envelopes accordingly. Let me actually start with Christmas. So with this money guys, this is actually going to go towards our Christmas vacation that we are taking on Christmas Eve. But for now, I want it to be with the other Christmas money. So here is my Christmas sinking fund. So the first things first, I need to complete my tracker here. If I can find my pen. Anybody else have a pen addiction? But can never find the right one when you need it. Oh, that's just me? Oh, okay. All right, so for Christmas, today is 1214. And we are moving this over from the challenge. We are moving 1,100 and sixty four dollars one thousand one hundred and sixty four plus nine hundred and fifteen gives me a total of two thousand seventy nine dollars for christmas and i've actually already purchased gifts uh if you guys didn't know i'll put my code here for fetch rewards fetch rewards pretty much funded christmas this year i used a ton of amazon and target gift cards so i hardly even had to touch my physical christmas money which was a blessing i had been using fetch all year long referring to my friends and family putting it on all my social medias and i was able to get over two million points so that's like two thousand dollars Worth of gift cards so that's really nice and i actually still have a little bit left so i'll put my code here and usually you get 2,000 points and i get 2,000. sometimes they run promos and it's a little more but make sure you check that out all you do is scan in your receipts and you get points for your receipts but the big points come from referrals so if you can refer your friends and get them to just sign up for the app that's where you get lots of points so let's add this to our christmas money here I always have two dollar bills it's so funny because whenever I post <laughs> post videos people are always like where do you get those and I'm just like the bank I don't <laughs> I didn't know they were rare like I've always been able to just get them at my local bank okay so let's check and make sure that our total lines up 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 2,000. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Nope. It's definitely not adding up. 10 20 30 35 37 39 so 2139 dollars i guess i had more than i thought um in here <laughs> okay y'all gonna tell me if i counted that wrong y'all y'all always be catching it so 2139 is what i'm gonna go with and I'm not going to exchange that for 1K slips because, like I said, I am going to take it out of town with me 
Um, so that'll be fine for now. It'll be safe in here for another week or so. All right, so that's it for this binder. And again, this one is now available on my site. It comes with six custom envelopes. I don't offer the cover, I don't think, because I don't know how well it'll stick to this, but I mean, if it's there, you can pick it if you want, I guess. All right, next up, now that our Christmas challenge is empty, we are going to do our emergency challenge. That was a really fun challenge to do. If you're wondering about the ones I'm talking about, let me show you the Christmas catch-up challenge. So they're all a part of this Baddie Challenge Trackers book that I sell on my site. It's available printed and bound, or um, it's available as a digital and you can print it at home or use it on your iPad or whatever. So here's the Christmas challenge that we just stuffed. And the emergency fund challenge that we're about to stuff is this one here. And I did do the bonuses, so I got $1,200 instead of just 1000 Okay. So let's move to our emergency challenge. Our emergency fund, I'm sorry. Okay. So here we are. And like I said, we're adding $1,200. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1,000, 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. So yes, we're adding $1,200 to our emergency fund. So I'm going to take... Uh -oh. $1,200, so that's going to be $3,300 should be our total. Today is the 14th. This year has gone by so fast. Okay, please forgive my slappy handwriting, y'all. Alrighty, let's add in our money now. So we have a few 1K slips in there. Add in our hundreds, our fifties. I think the rest is pretty copacetic. Okay, so we now have 2,000, 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 3,000, 51, 50, 70, 90 to 10 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 to 70 to 80 to 90 to 95 300 so we now have three thousand three hundred dollars in emergency and i will exchange this for a 1k slip when i do my end of month update so we're good to go there what do we say 3300 so yeah y'all that challenge was able to take me from just at two thousand dollars to three thousand dollars and i think my first goal for this fund in the new year will be five thousand so that gets us well on our way and that was a really simple challenge to do really fun to do so the last thing i'm going to do here is i threw in these little last minute five and twenty dollar savings challenges just trying them out seeing how they fit how i liked them and so I was able to put, I had fives, but I already moved those to my $5 savings challenge. So I also had 40 more dollars. And so I'm actually going to add that <clears throat> to our debt envelope. So today is 1214. And this is from a challenge. We're adding $40 for a total of $3,040. Okay. I'm just going to pop that back in and let's add in this 40 bucks. Okay. So we now have 1,000, 2,000, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3,000, 3,000, 20, 3,000, 40. Okay. So again, if you have questions about debt, remember this, I'm repairing my credit. So as I get um, creditors to agree to pay for deletes, I offer them a settlement payment in cash. So like say, say it was a thousand dollar debt and I get them to agree to delete it off my credit report. If I pay, I'll say, hey, you know, I can pay 500 of that cash today. 
and they'll typically accept it. I try to go for like 50 to 75% off because they bought the debt for pennies on the dollar. So it's still a win for them and it's me not having to pay so much. Since it's already on my credit report, <laughs> it's already negatively affected me. So me paying it off will help my credit a little bit, but not so much that I'm willing to pay the full thing. I mean, I can, and if I have to, I will, but if I don't have to, you know what I mean, okay? So that's it, y'all. That's all. I just wanted to add those challenges over out of my savings challenge book into here. Um, what I actually want to do real quick is move over my 52-week challenge to this book because I won't be doing any of these other challenges for a while um, because, as you guys know, I am uh, trying to pay off student loan debt. So that's going to be my first priority. And as I get a handle on that, I may add in more challenges. So uh, for now, um, I think I still need this for fives and ones because I am still going to do that. So for now, I'll be stuffing my 52-week challenge with my weekly cash stuffings. The very last challenge I have today... Um, is the Save with Batty Challenge. I I think, I don't have my paper, but I think it's close to the last week. Um, I don't have my iPad, but I know for sure um, that I'm going to miss a week because I won't do another Savings Challenge stuffing. So I'm going to go ahead and add $20. You guys um, will add 10 this week. And if this is the last week... Um, comment down below your order number and I will pick somebody that way. Here, here's what we'll do to get an extra or additional entry to win the money in this envelope. Go post the Save with Batty challenge along with your money. So put your challenge down like this and then lay your money on top and leave the amount you were able to save like in your description and tag me. On Insta and that'll get your extra entry make sure you're following me on Instagram because otherwise it won't count okay so I think this is the last week if not um, if not I will finish it with my next cash stuffing which will be my side hustle cash stuffing and I'll give it away then but if this is the last week go ahead and do matter of fact just go ahead and do that this will be where you leave your entry because I know you really ride for me if you watch these kind of videos because it's not a normal cash stuffing and you stay to the end. So do that. Go post your challenge, how much you were able to save. Tag me in the comments or click on it and tag me in the photo and make sure you're following me on Insta and that'll get you an extra entry. I'll go through, pick my person from those first and then I'll come find you in my comments on YouTube. So make sure you leave your order number showing that you actually bought this from me in the description. So if I pick you, I can look you up in my system, okay? If that's too confusing, I'm sorry. But I like to pick people who actually support me, not just click on it because it's a giveaway, okay? So that's it, y'all. That's all I have for this video. I was able to move over my savings challenges. Again, this binder and envelopes are for sale. The savings book is for sale. You guys can do these challenges too. I'm just like, ah, there's money here and I don't even know what I'm going to use it for. Either student loan debt, taxes, or just put it into savings. It's, I'm definitely not going to waste it. I worked really hard to save it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Sunlight that always